Okay, everyone. So uh, I'm sure you remember this, uh, the 1985 RCA television. Okay. And what we're doing right now is, is I have Jay over here. And um, he had a very cool idea. So right now what we're doing is we have um, my old VCR on top of it. And we're trying to use a coaxial connector and see if um, see if we can make the TV actually display something. Because, like, you know, it's from 85. It's a lower-end model. So it doesn't quite have all the video connectors you would commonly see nowadays. So what we did here was we cut off an end of the cable, as you can see right there. And we have it going to the... Okay, well, we have the video in right now. And we have the TV out. And what he's doing is he's fitting the whole... Uh, oh, there we go. Coaxial wire, wire connector there. And trying to fit it into... Um, where was it, Jay? Well, let me... I'll, yeah. I'll start translating here. Yeah, yeah sure. Uh, basically, what we're doing huh. is we're, we're, we've cannibalized this cable. It was coax at each end. Mm -hmm. And although you're supposed to use a Balin coil, which was totally forgotten by both of us to bring, uh, I could have just brought one and we could have done it. Uh, I said, oh, wait, we could just try this. Do you have an old VCR? And he's like, yeah, I got mine right here. So I said, okay, good. That has a built-in uh, composite to RF converter or just an RF converter. So I said, if you have a coax cable that you want to cannibalize, then we can do that and try it. So what we did is we just took the tip of that and touched it to one of the connectors on the VHF in on the back of the TV. And he's like, yeah, screw it, let's do it. So pretty much um, this is the way that you would hook up a TV in the ghetto. <laughs> and that's kind of what we're doing here. Uh, we're using tools that are not proper because unless I'm told to actually bring tools, I should just always bring them, but I don't. <laughs> I was actually going to throw a toolbox in the car just in case, but it turns out it wouldn't matter anyway. Get that out of there. Just put a hook in that. bit of a crookedy hook but it'll work and now we're gonna get a flat blade screwdriver and see if we can bridge the connectors on that VHF input and see what kind of picture we get so here's a bit of the handiwork if you look down in there I don't have the best lighting but I just have the ground looped on one and the center conductor on the other close and good enough yeah, we're going to uh, have the uh, out on the VCR going in there, plug in the VCR, fucking polarized plugs. There we go. Mm. TV is on channel three, mm -hmm. right there. There's a menu button. Oh, not bad. Something. Yeah. It's not perfect. Now, what if I just wiggle it around? Oh, that's that's a bit better. It was anyway. Yeah. It's always there. a. Oh, that's it, nice. It, it almost gets pretty. It's it, always that, how TVs work back then. Yeah. May also be a little. May need a little fine tuning. That's too far. I think that's too far the other way now. That's pretty good right there. Yeah, that's good. And now we're going to stop the camera because we have the video cable here hooked to the input on the VCR. Let me uh, get, get a shot of that. Yeah. So if we can, if A, if this cable is wired properly, and B, we can get the VCR to tune to that, hmm. we should be able to display what's on the camera on the TV. A snowy picture. Oh, look at that. That's kind of cool now, isn't it? <laughs> <laughs> so let me get the wire undone there. And I guess I'll have to just shuffle around some of the wires on the back to... We did get audio, though, if we you did. turn the volume yeah, up. Yeah, it's kind of like it's looping a little bit. Test, one, two. Too much feedback. Turn it down. Hello, hello. I don't know if you can hear it on there, but... Yeah, maybe a little bit. We got something. Yeah. So let's just unplug all of the cables. 
and tell me if you get a picture. I guess not. I'll try the white one. But isn't the yellow the video? It should be, but it depends how it's wired. Still no picture, really? No, it should just... Um, wait, do we have to change the channel at all? No, no, no it's all okay. set right. We're still getting audio on the video. And the video itself... Wait, do you have it on video in? Yeah, it's on yeah. in. Oh, okay. Yeah, I don't know. Hmm. We're still getting, like, audio-looking stuff... Yeah, we are. ...on the video... That's really weird. Uh, I'm just going to check my camera settings. It's in VCR mode. Does that? That's fine. Oh, okay. Yeah, that's fine. Uh, I think I hit something on the camera here. Let me play with the camera and see if I can do something. So well, there we go. Yeah, go ahead. You could point for a little bit. Yeah, see, there it is. I'm kind of holding the cable because, like I said, this is sort of yeah. a hokey setup. That's cool, though. It is working, though. See, your old VCR is still still useful. Still useful. This is from uh, ooh, mid '90s, maybe. Yeah, '95, uh, I think. Maybe from the serial number, I don't know. Okay, but yeah, and, and this TV is from 1985. So we have uh, you got this camera when 2015. Twenty sixteen. Sixteen. Let's see. Yeah. So there's a couple. So we have a twenty sixteen camera attached to a nineteen eighty five television. Oh, there. I think it's staying. I'm yeah, it is. Yeah, I'm trying to look at it for too long. Yeah. So that, that that's really cool. Nice. Yeah, so the, now the, this was the. That's the fuck up the picture switch. Okay. Yeah. What is that for? That control? Uh, a -F AFT. AFT. Automatic fine tune. Is it that far out of fucking whack? I guess. I mean, who knows when, it was, when this was last fine tuned, if ever. There you go. There. That, that, that That's looks pretty, how it should be. That looks pretty uh, crisp. That's I, a pretty I, damn crisp image. Yeah. I can't point it too long. Sorry, guys. Well, it's not really any fault of the camera. It's more the, the, the tube color. in the TV you want to watch. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, well, it works. It does work. Proof of awesome. Concept. And it's color. It is color, yeah. Oh, do we have the color? Well, I can't look at the screen. For so yeah, it's on the bottom here, I think, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. well, let me let me see if I can dial that in. We're going to stop camera, mm -hmm. and uh, then I'll dial it in. Okay, now we're on the Sharky Cam. And the Sharky Cam is displaying what my camera is pointing at, the WD-40 and the Cinch. And, of course, the Red Can 3-in-1. <laughs> Red Cans matter. <laughs> in fact there's two red cans even better yeah uh, there is actually you're right i'm moving my own camera a little bit over so yeah we just played with the controls a little bit there uh if you turn the color too bright mm. it it starts bleeding oh you notice it, that it is still bleeding a little bit on the right side yeah, like move the camera up it's a cut is it coming off part of the bottle oh no it's just because it's flat there okay yeah no otherwise that's pretty good so we got all the controls dialed in and that's pretty good Pretty cool. So I'm happy that, that the TV works. Yeah, definitely got that hooked in and working. We'll pan over here at the work zone thing and the Gags Now Watt meter and the Mark Hill heater. Yeah, very nice. And that coloring is pretty close. Yeah, it, it's almost there. That's pretty close. Not mm -hmm. too bad. There's some difference in the camera, of course, and yeah. what it sees. Oh, yeah, it, it, it looks like, it looks like the, the picture's compressed a little bit, I guess, because of the 4x3. Uh, could be. Yeah. Mm. Definitely could be. Because yeah. this should be outputting 16x9. Yeah. So that's why things are cut off on the edges, and the overscan on the TV may be too high as well. Um, yeah, otherwise it is working. Beautiful. Awesome. So there is proof of concept. So yeah, that's it. I can't really show you the tube too well, but there's the workbench or what you can see of it. Uh, it works. We rigged it up, ghetto, using a rusty old pair of uh, linesman's pliers and that we had to oil because they didn't even work. <laughs> <laughs> And I guess now everything is good and the white and the red can be plugged back in.
I don't know why we... Oh, yeah, it was the setting on the camera I had to change. That's why. Okay, so those are plugged in. So now Sharky can plug this cable into his camera, which is virtually the same one, and display things on his vintage TV. That should be pretty cool, huh? Absolutely. Definitely cool. <laughs> this is what you this is called being resourceful. I mean, a piece of coat hanger wire if you could whittle it down would have worked. This, you know, I mean, we're trying to find a rubber band around here. We have not even found. Yeah, sorry guys. Guess for, we just we just don't use them that much. <laughs> <laughs> just so, I we stretch a condom out maybe and Oh jeez. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, I don't use those, right? Uh, no. <laughs> no. <laughs> anyway, this is rambling on, but it works. Proof of concept is there with old Sharky equipment. Thank you for watching. Make sure you click like. Make sure you click subscribe. Subscribe to Sharky626. Thank you for watching, and take care. We'll see you next time. Bye-bye.